In this tutorial, we're going to look at a simple sky replacement using composite brush. We'll look at how to pull a key, clean up the blue edges, and tweak colors to match the background. Let's get started. For this example, I have a planet. It's not beautiful, you can use something cooler. I'm going to start by taking this background layer, duplicating it, and placing it over the top. Then I'm going to use the key hair preset, Make sure you have the latest version of the script that uses Hair 1.4 instead of Hair 1.3. I'll click once on a deep blue sample of the background sky, and then Alt-click a few times over the tree. Now I could continue to Alt-click, and I could Alt-click and drag more and make this tree more opaque. However, I actually want it to be a little bit semi-transparent because these leaves in the real world would be semi-transparent. If we take a look at the alpha channel of this tree, a lot of gray in the alpha channel on the edges will be good for us. Especially in areas like this, where the blue is shining through the green leaves. Also, just to point out, we selected this blue color here, and because these clouds are not completely blue, they're showing up as semi-transparent. Sometimes this can be very good if you want some atmosphere in the shot. But for this example, I'm going to completely key those clouds out. So I'll just click and drag over them. And this is the problem that users have specifically asked about, is what to do about this little blue spill on the edge of the semi-transparent leaves. Well, there's an easy way to get rid of this. There's an effect in here called Remove Color Matting. I'll go to Effect, Channel, Remove Color Matting, and at first it just looks terrible. Well, that's because the way Remove Color Matting works is it looks at the color of the background, which you have to select, and then it looks at the alpha channel, which in this case is created by a composite brush, and it guesses what the original color was based on how semi-transparent something is when it's been keyed. And you can see in these areas when I toggle this on and off, it's attempting to restore some of that original green. And another thing you can do is just click and drag this around and see if you get slightly better results by yourself. One more before and after. So that helps with some of the semi-transparent parts, but there are also some parts that just aren't being affected because they were too blue, or they have a sharpening artifact. So for example, if you take a look down here, these are very, very dark blue edges. Now these don't really resemble the original blue sky color. This is a result of a sharpening artifact that you get on some cameras. However, Composite Brush is still able to change these to look correct in the shot. I'm going to add another instance of Composite Brush and brush over any of these very dark blues. Alt clicking over the areas that I want to preserve. That actually looks like a pretty good selection. And then for my transfer mode color, I'm going to select a sample from the green in the leaves. So let's look at that before and after. And maybe I'll just bring down the saturation and brightness a tiny bit. Also, it doesn't hurt to put on maybe one pixel of matte blur. There's before and after. And there's the shot. Thanks for watching. For more info, check out aescripts.com slash composite brush.